Next is the new trailer for the upcoming film Mad Max Fury Road. The film is described as follows. Within this world of fire and blood exist two rebels on the run who just might be able to restore order. There's Max played by Tom Hardy, a man of action and a man of few words who seeks peace of mind following the loss of his wife and child in the aftermath of, of the chaos. And Furiosa played by Charlize Theron, a woman of action and a woman who believes her path to survival may be achieved if she can make it across the desert back to her childhood homeland. Mad Max Fury Road opens in AMC theaters on May 15th. Mark, buy or sell the Mad Max Fury Road trailer. I'm glad McDonald's is so cheap because I'm buying this one too. <laughs> this is, I mean, this looks so awesome. And even from the previous trailer that we saw that kind of got us into that world a little bit, this one did that even more so. Seeing Tom Hardy as this role, I was always in on him playing this role. Watching this take place, I cannot, this is now one of my most anticipated films of 2015. I can't wait for this to come out. Dennis? Oh, it's a big buy for me. Uh, like I said before with the other trailer, this, this is a different type. It doesn't even feel like a modern trailer to me because of the music and the way it's cut together. It's kind of like a controlled chaos. It 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 gives you like a, a tease of it. it. I mean, it could totally suck. We don't know, but just visually, it looks so fantastic. And um, it's interesting. The last few movies uh, George Miller has done is Happy Feet, Happy Feet Two, and I think Babe in and the almost, City, and almost a Justice League movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't yeah, forget yeah. about that. But <laughs> I, I think this looks fantastic, and I, I definitely it's jumped up my list as well. Probably like. Third, probably behind Star Wars and Age of Ultron. Christian? Yeah, big buy. I mean, I'm, uh, this looks like Road Warrior style to me. This, it, we're back to what we loved about Mad Max. Love that George Miller is, is doing this. And you just everything that's set up, and I agree 100% with Dennis, is that you get enough that you know exactly what you're going to have from this film as far as tone. In, but you don't, you're not, they're not ruining story for you. You get enough of what you need in there and the imagery and everything. You, it's so intense in that scene with the sandstorm at the very end. And, and Charlie Theron, who looks like she's just one of the best out there. Oh, yeah, and, she is. And you can tell, even in the limited stuff you see of her, she's bringing it 100%. And to her go up against with, with Tom Hardy together, it is absolutely on my most anticipated list for next year. Um, it's a good thing I already know for a fact that this movie is great because this trailer's awful. I sell it. <laughs> this is a terrible, no, it's a terrible trailer. It's a terrible trailer. Wow. And it's, if it, it's a good thing I know that the movie's so good because wow. if I didn't already know that the movie was great and I just saw this trailer, I would think the thing, the trailer to me feels like a trailer from Hollywood mocking Hollywood trailers. That's what it felt like to me. It felt like a big mess. Like some of the beginning of Tropic Thunder? Yeah, yeah, yeah it felt uh, seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm really shocked too. Shocking. I, I, think the trailer, no. I think the trailer, I think the trailer is brilliant. Wow. Yeah. But like I said, like I said, it's a good thing I already know that the movie's yeah. great because otherwise the trailer wouldn't have sold but me it's at all. I, because I, I echo Dennis' sentiments because he said this thing could suck because he doesn't know if it's good or not. Right. I don't know if it's good or not. But this, you, know, you know what I loved about it, John, was the cockiness. This movie feels like it knows it's really good and it does, it's not relying yeah. on the fact that it's a reboot of something that we already are aware of a lot like what the Star Wars teaser was where it just it opened with this arrogant tone about it where it's like hey we're telling a story and we know that you already love us from the past but here's something new for you that's what got me into this trailer it doesn't use the same kind of musical cues that yeah. most modern trailers use today yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's totally with the, the music Michael Winslow ladies and gentlemen that was awesome hey everyone if you like this video click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.